Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about a website called Owlyboo and you can see the address up here. Now this is a website full of games for toddlers and young children which aim to develop a youngster's familiarity with the keyboard and their early mouse skills. Now let's go over some basics this is a free web website to access and to play on however you can subscribe to it for a small fee which is about 70p a month and by paying for it you get games which uh, are full screen and therefore you get no adverts and also your uh, the young your young children who are playing on it are in a ultra safe environment because the only part of the internet they can go on once you signed in is the hourly boo um, screen because it's locked down with a password and so they can't access any other part of the internet or any other internet page so let's have a look at if we were to play the free version this is a fairly typical, let me just make sure that my volume's up. This is a fairly typical look. What you've got is the game in the center of the screen, then either side you're going to be hit with lots of adverts that are flashing at you. Now, if you chose to pay for it, this is what you get. The game is a lot larger, it goes to full screen, it kind of fits the size of your screen. Um, that you're on and there are no adverts so it's up to you you can play it for free or you can subscribe um, right let's go in the free section and let's start talking about the the games themselves oh before I do that sorry just to say that they've also created some apps for tablets either your Android tablets like your Nexus tablets or your iPads um, and they have created four four different apps um, and each each of the apps has four different simple games within it and these apps cost about 69p to purchase I think. Another feature of the site is that it's multilingual. Um, you've got English, obviously, which we're accessing now, Spanish, Portuguese, German, um, and Italian, French as well. So there's lots of different languages, which is which is great. Okay, so let's go into the free section and let's have a look at some of these games. There are three different categories or skill levels of games. The first level is full of games that just require any key on the keyboard to be pressed in order to make something happen. The second level, moving the mouse, contains games in which the mouse needs to be moved in order to make something happen. And the third level, clicking and dragging, unsurprisingly, in order to make something happen you have to click on something or drag it. Okay, so let's have a look at the first level. And obviously there's a clear progression um, in those three levels. You know, pressing any key on the keyboard is far easier for someone who's learning about early computer skills rather than clicking and dragging. Each of these three levels has 11 games on it. Let's have a go on this. Now I'm trying to talk and coordinate pressing a key on the keyboard and talking at the same time so this could be a bit complicated for me but hopefully you can hear the sound effects as well. The sound effects are lovely. I press it three times and then I get to another animal. I love the style of graphics, I think they're very, um, they're very simple 
but very very attractive on some of the games and I'll just show you one of them this is one about a tortoise what I would complain about there is that the color contrast isn't particularly great if you're working with a child who has a visual impairment let's have a look at some of these other ones so on that one different things happen with the dolphins when I press a key and then let's have a look at the frog one here which says it's new okay so what's lovely also lovely about these games is they're quite short so they don't require a lot of um, attention let's move on to the moving the mouse level as I said earlier there's 11 more games here these games encourage the mouse to be moved in all different directions and to be moved over different objects and animals and what happens as you go over an object or an animal you get a, a sound is created so let's have a look at this this one here this is nice and simple because I'm just moving the mouse up and down quite a simple action here and then as I reach the same heights the different animals start to make a noise so that is actually quite an easy easy game there this one here requires more accuracy as it says here move the mouse over the bugs so instead of just moving the mouse up and down the screen I have to move it get to a specific part of the screen and then when I touch on an object or select an object it makes a noise so yeah same thing lovely graphics lovely sound effects very motivating I think for young children let's just go um, have a look at so what we've got to do here is we've got to carry the bug to the flower So this is all about just basically placing the mouse over a flower and then the bug goes to it. So it's about finding the flowers on the screen. I don't know how much of my commentary you could hear there because of the sound effects. So you can see with move, moving the mouse there is actually a built-in development and increasing complexity of the skills required of the person who's using it um, and to show you just how complex it can be let me just show you this you've got to move the mouse right and left to control this monkey who's got a bowl in his head and you've got to catch the bananas you see how poor I am 
when he catches one he makes a lovely noise so this is quite an incredible skill there's no clicking involved but just to be able to move the mouse at the right speed is quite something else for a youngster I think okay let's have a look at the third and final level the clicking and dragging so again 11 games here let's just open a few of them up so you can see same graphics similar so um, similar sound effects as well in fact this is a very attractive game instead of just putting uh, the mouse over an object let's just turn that off you've actually got to click on it as well so let's have a look at some more now this is this is quite complex because obviously what happens here is you've got um, a zebra as shown here and then you've got to complete the same zebra putting all of these different parts almost like a jigsaw puzzle onto it so that is I think is an incredibly um, complex skill for a young child and then you've also got bits of the scenery that you need to place So let's have a look at one final one on this level. Drag the accessories. So all these different pieces here, you've got to drag them onto the owls. Which is quite a fun thing to do. and requires a fair level of skill because not only are you moving the mouse of course but you are also clicking on it at the same time okay and I think I'll leave it there so that's Owly Boo let me know if you've used it before and what you think of it um, in the comments to this video thank you for watching